and welcome to our VoterVox uh, training introduction webinar. My name is Bianca and I'm a product strategist here at 18millionrising.org. Um, today I'm going to tell you a little bit about 18MR, about VoterVox, and how to get started using our VoterVox tool. Um, first, thank you for attending. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with 18millionrising.org, we are a organization that brings Asian American communities together online and offline to reimagine what Asian American identity looks like today. Um, we're a foundation, or we're built on the foundation that we would like to create a more just and creative world where identities and experiences are affirmed and our leadership is valued. We are a digital first organization, meaning we use technology and popular culture to bring people together around organizing for political issues and civic, and civic engagement. Um, so that's a little bit about us. Um, we'd love to hear who's in the room today um, so you can stop and introduce yourselves, introduce yourselves, your organization, and maybe a little bit about the work that you do. Um, since we're recording today, we're going to keep moving on, but feel free to pause this video at any time. Um, so what brings us here today? Today we're here to introduce a tool that 18MR developed called Voter box. Um, it has to do with language access and civic engagement. Uh, we're going to tell you a little bit about the history of VoterVox, why it's important, and then we're going to show you how to um, onboard yourself, your staff, or maybe some volunteers that you'll be working with this election season. Uh, does anyone have any questions? We can pause here for discussion. If not, we'll move right along. So, Today we'll go over the history of VoterVox. What problem are we addressing um, and how are we engaging that? So life in this country depends on written materials. People who are bilingual know this because they're constantly translating newspapers, paperwork, um, translation services uh, happen for millions of family members every day. So when it comes to voting, we know that people with limited English proficiency face harsh language barriers and severe intimidation from going to the polls to even filling out their ballot. So 18MR created VoterVox in 2015 for use in the 2016 election to support limited English proficient individuals so they could participate fully in civic life, ranging from voter education to voter registration uh, to filling out their ballot. Uh, we'd like for you to think about how your work relates to voting and voting translation services also as we go through uh, the VoterVox tool. So why is language access important? We sometimes forget that the power of language um, affects everyday life. We're always aware of what it makes possible, uh, excuse me, we're always aware of what, it, what language can make possible from accessing family stories to cultural heritage to voting and participating in democracy. So today, language access, we're really focusing on people who have limited English proficiency um, and acknowledging that they're just as smart, if not smarter, than those who are those people who are fluent in English. So it's very important that we make uh, it as easy as possible for them to participate in um, the voting process. We know that APIs, <clears throat> APIs, uh, Asian Pacific Islanders, are three times more likely than Latinos to cite language barrier as a reason for not voting. And today, um, we're in October 2018. We've seen voter suppression tactics um, in this elections in this election cycle ranging from um, ballot materials only being available in English to um, lack of access to uh, resources to register to vote. Um, these are some of the biggest challenges that are happening today um, in getting out the vote in diverse and multilingual areas. Um, so we'll pause for questions here. If there are no questions, we'll continue. Um, so what you see on the screen here is our voting box, voter box platform. You can access it here at www.votervox.org um, and you'll land on this page. So how VoterVox works is um, we like to say that VoterVox makes democracy available for everyone in all languages in any election. Uh, what the platform does is it connects bilingual volunteers with other limited English speakers to meet, translate ballots, share stories, and upload uh, materials for other volunteers to build on. 
we've partnered with community-based organizations in order to support existing volunteer efforts and also provide this tool as a way to make their work easier and faster. Um, our goal is to reach limited English speaking APIs where they're at, so in their communities and support existing efforts and relationships with our tool. Are there any other questions? If not, we'll move on and I'll show you how to get started um, and how to get onboarded, whether you're someone who's looking for translation help or whether you're a volunteer or organization that are working with translators. Um, so first we will, uh, if there are no other questions, we'll get started with onboarding. So this is your homepage. To get started, you'll select your language. Um, for me, I will select English. Um, and I will sign up to be a translator. So we click here. And then uh, this is our, our registration page. So fill it out with your first name, last name, your email address. Phone number. Um, and your home address. Um, your organization, so I'm with 18 Million Rising, um, and any language that you speak proficiently. So today I'll be choosing Arabic and Japanese. Um, you can upload an image of yourself or leave this blank. Today I'll be leaving my blank. Um, and enter an easy password you'll remember. Great. So once you've signed up, this is your volunteer dashboard that you'll see. So you can get oriented and test your knowledge with um, your language skills here. Um, this is a step-by-step -step guide to walk you through the dashboard if we're not here to help. Um, but what I'd like to focus on today is um, managing your voter resources. So if you already have a um, volunteer effort with your organization or your volunteer group and you're focusing on making voter materials um, accessible in different languages, uh, this is where you can upload them to have anyone access them. So you can see here we have a variety of materials that are already available from other volunteers, um, but I'd like to add a translated resource today. So we have a voter guide available. <clears throat> Let me just pull this up. So it's California voter guide. Enter your title here. The original language that the document was available in, so here we have English, is translated into Mandarin. Um, the type of document you're uploading, so we have a voter guide. This is for California. The voter guide is for a state um, election. And we'll upload it here. Submit. Great, so this is a preview of what I made available. And if we go to voter resources, you can see here that it's available for anyone else to access. Um, so based this, this is the basic onboarding process. Um, if, you're or no, if you're an organization, you have an existing uh, translation program or effort, and you wanna make these materials available to um, your members. So uh, this is what needs to happen first before you tell your community members that you have uh, materials available for them to access online. Um, are there any other questions? If not, we can move on and um, I'll show you how to access it from someone who needs translation materials. So we'll go back to voterbox.org and get started um, to find a translator. Today I'm going to be working in English again. Can you sign up? My preferred form of communication is email my contact information. Um, the languages I speak and how comfortable I am with English. So let's say three. 
um, and I'm a first time voter. Hit sign up. Great. So this is what the um, dashboard looks like. Again, you can see it's very similar, but there are a limited amount of uh, tabs over here versus the uh, translator dashboard. So again, say I now am on the other end of our, uh, <coughs> excuse me, our audience, and I'd like to access the voter guide that was uploaded by my community organization. So I'll go to my voter resources, um, and you can see here the California Asian American and Pacific Islander voter guide <clears throat> for this 2018 election is available here. I click on it. And now I can access this material from the comfort of my home. This is especially helpful if someone is voting by mail um, and they'd like to take the time to review these materials from the comfort of their own home. Or it's also um, a great resource if you're voting and you'd like to review these materials before you go to your polling station. Great. Also, you can see with each dashboard, we have a space um, to give feedback. So 18MR is an organization that's continuing to develop this tool. So feel free to give us um, suggestions, tips, or if you run into any problems, feel free to submit your uh, suggestion here. Great, so we've gone over onboarding for both translators and those people in need of translation um, services. Uh, VoterBox is available for free um, for use uh, for anyone from individuals to volunteers to organizations. Um, we'd like to think of it as a tool that is not replacing your existing efforts, but supporting you in making um, these materials available to as many folks as possible. We'd love for you to share VoterBox um, as much as possible with your communities, with your friends, with your parents, anyone, with anyone who you think could use these tools um, between now and November, the November 6th election. Thank you.